Well, I came to Washington, D.C. in the early 90s and ended up working on a House committee. It was my first job and transitioned to the House Armed Services Committee and sort of just fell into uh, doing the defense budget. Bounced between the Pentagon and the White House about four times. So now I am working for the Shipbuilders Council of America. The objective of my trade association is to make sure there is adequate government funding for national security vessels. So it's tracking amendments, it's working the bills, it's meeting with members of Congress, meeting with the Office of Management and Budget, a constant whirl of activity revolving around the defense budget. My time at Coastal, uh, it was wonderful. Three gentlemen, uh, Jack Riley, Paul Peterson, and Eddie Dyer, three mentors. I was very fortunate. Um, they all gave me something different. It was all just, just a terrific environment. Uh, great spirit, everyone worked together, and I'm just, I'm very fortunate to have had those three professors kind of guide and coach me. But I think it is nothing like the campus is today. Uh, all the amenities on the campus are incredible. I went straight to grad school, and wonderful, wonderful experience. Dr. Dyer's constitutional law class is the reason I'm sitting here. I came to D.C., it was my first trip to D.C. when I was, I think, a junior in college and fell in love with Washington. And it took a few years after graduation, but I knew this is where I wanted to be, and it all started from that one trip, and that's where I am today.